Let's take a look at the basic navigation of the PowerSchool Parent Portal. First, you'll need to sign in. Once you're inside the PowerSchool Parent Portal, you'll be taken directly to the Grades and Attendance page. The first thing you see over here to the left is the last two weeks of attendance. Then you see all the courses and the grades for the various terms within the courses. By clicking on any one of these final grades, you can be taken to the details of that grade. Let's click on Semester 1. We're taken to the Class Score Detail. If the teacher has written an individual narrative or comment on your child, it would display here. And if they've written an overall section or course description, course narrative, it would display here. Below those written narratives, the individual assignments display. They're organized by due date. Anything on this page that is in blue text is hyperlinked to more information. So you can see that for this particular assignment, the teacher has given us a description of what that assignment entails. You can click on that, and you'll be taken to more information. In this case, this is what they've told us about this assignment. You can see that the score of this particular assignment is highlighted in blue text, so it's clickable. And that means that the teacher has written an individual comment to the student about this particular assignment. And that displays here in its own window. At the bottom of this page, there's a legend that will explain any special codes that you might see next to assignments up above. On the Grades History tab, you can see previous terms and the grades associated with them. For this student, there aren't any. On the Attendance History page, you can see all of the attendance history for this particular term. If you scroll to the bottom of this page, there's a legend that explains the different codes that you might find on the page. The Email Notification page allows parents to sign up to receive emails based on a number of criteria. For example, you could sign up to receive a summary of current grades and attendance to be delivered to you weekly at a specific email address. At various times throughout the year, our teachers are required to write individual narratives for each student, and on the teacher comments page, you're able to see all of those narratives in one place. Clicking on School Bulletin brings up the School Bulletin, where you can keep track of what's going on in the upper school. The Class Registration page is a place where students can register for classes for the following year. It only is available when it's turned on because it's th that time of year where students are registering. On the Accounts Preferences page, parents can change information for their online profile. They can also add students if they have multiple children to the same account. So they're able to toggle between their multiple children within one account. 